All right, questions eight and nine. So we have a roller coaster at height h, and it gets to point b, and we know we want to know the speed right here. So let's actually do an energy bar graph. So at position a, I have all e gravitational, and at position b, I've got e gravitational and e kinetic. So just to put this together, I'm going to have MGH at A equals MGH at B plus one half MV squared. Putting in my numbers, that's going to be a thousand times ten times ninety equals a thousand times ten times sixty plus one half times a thousand times v squared. So it actually turns out I can cancel the mass in all of these, and that's going to end up giving me. Um, 300 equals v squared over 2. That's going to end up giving me 600 equals v squared. And when I actually calculate out my numbers, I should end up getting not the worst number. Let's just see. Getting 24 meters per second. So, mm -hmm. so that's question number eight. Now for question number nine, very similar idea. We can type, borrow some of these ideas. But here's the thing with this energy graph. Now that we're at C, we no longer have any gravitational energy because we're at the bottom of the hill. So what that means is that at point C, we have all kinetic energy. So we'll end up getting MGH at A equals one-half MV squared, or 1,000 times 10 times the height, which is 90, equals 1,000, sorry, 1 half, times 1,000, times v squared. That's going to give us 1,800 equals v squared. And that's going to give us a speed of about 42 meters per second. All right. So again, we'll get about 42 for V, and that's it for number 9. Now for number 10, a 5-kilogram ball rolled with a velocity of 3 meters per second. What's the ball's momentum? So momentum is mass times velocity. That's going to be 5. Whoops. So that's going to be 5 times 3 which winds up being 15 kilograms meters per second. So that's the answer to number 10, which is C.